Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Checking in. Name's Tobias Weeper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. I give you any breaks. No, 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 no. I am always Lead the way. Sir, please. Ken Morgan again. Sharp. Any messages? Um. No, Mr. Morgan. No messages. This doesn't go through. When can I have my suite? Housekeeping is almost done, sir. I do apologize for the inconvenience. a pat on the back. You carry yourself well, sir. Please, sir, follow me. I'll take you to your room. There goes my next ex-husband. Uh, here you are, sir. You can always call reception if you need anything else. The minibar has not been replenished. Please see to it at once. Can I come in? Oh, yes. I am here to restock the minibar, please.
Where are the fresh flowers? You had one job. Who's the jittery guy over there? Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's... Can we get just a few minutes of privacy here? Uh, that's Abel De Silva? He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society? Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Ugh. Anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band, who quit yesterday. The record label flew him in, and I took him up to the restaurant lounge. Oh, Miss, Miss Barrett, the manager, she's gonna come get him soon. Gee, I guess I should get his autograph. You, you, you don't deserve it. Interesting. The class's regular drummer unexpectedly quit the band, and the record label has flown in a replacement. Upcoming indie drummer Abel De Silva, who is currently waiting in the restaurant lounge. Better yet, Jordan Cross has not previously met Mr. De Silva, and the two of you do share a resemblance, 47. Autograph, you deserve poop in a bag. So, uh, when is Dex and Barrett coming to pick me up? I don't know, I just carry the heavy stuff, man. I mean, head up to the studio yourself if you want. No, oh, no, I don't want to seem pushy, I'll, I'll wait. She didn't forget. Is it true that Jordan's dad has a net worth of 11 billion? So much for the starving artist hypothesis, eh? Uh, look, I have no idea, man. Strong, silent type, eh? No, no, we can't have any butlers and maids running around here. Look, I, I can't let you through, sorry. Someday you may own your own restaurant. I'm scared to talk to you, you know. It sounds just awesome. Yeah, I just carry the heavy stuff. Fine. Garcon! Hey, Abel, what's up? Hey, nice I'll threads, buddy. i the short version, darling. Nobody gets in or out except for VIP. No oh, hey, Mr. De Silva. Dexie Barrett was supposed to pick you up the rest. Almost bankrupt with Ransom Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would Wes want to use a mic? Uh, who's this? Oh, hey, you're a Quinton's replacement, right? Yeah, spring for coming reverb up. for Noel Wagner's Rickenbacker until Noel had a nervous breakdown and knocked Wes out cold with a frying pan. And this other time, Wes locked himself in the studio with a loaded revolver, threatened to shoot anyone from the record company who entered before the mix was just right. Everyone, this is Abel De Silva. He's here to take over for Quentin. 
the drums all set up, Wes? Good to go. Cool. So, what do you say, man? Get behind the kit, show us what you made of. Anyway, it's safe enough when you know how to handle it. Just don't crank the voltage. Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. some kind of machine, aren't you? Oh man, nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? There's something I want to show you. After you. Yeah, so, sorry about the mood around here. You know, Heidi's still pissed about Quentin leaving. But, you know, just don't expect her to roll out the red carpet. So, just do your thing, do it well, and she'll soften up. It's fine. Where are we going? Atrium roof. Look, I want to pitch you something. And I don't want the others to hear. It's bad for morale. Climbing the cultural ladder, I see. Good so, work, 47. I like your style. It's very tight, very new way. You, uh, you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Uh, who's repping you? Small agency. Very low profile. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Look, believe me, man. You gotta aim higher. Anyway, so I have this project coming up, and I think it's right up your alley. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drummer. A hired gun, not a partner. Someone who does the job without... Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan. You want me to deliver it? Deliver what? The letter, Neil. The one Dexy Barrett told you to take down to reception three hours ago? Oh, All right. <laughs> no, I'm just comatose today. No, no, I'm good, thanks. I'll pop down in a moment. Yeah, so you keep saying. What do you care? Dexy Barrett is Jordan's manager. He's not the boss of us. Who's an old four, anyway? She didn't say. What about what, oh, but he's staying in the Queen Suite, so I figure he's someone important. All the more reason to deliver. So. Dexy Barrett sends a message to the occupant of the Queen Suite, a.k.a. Ken Morgan. This must be the reason for Morgan's surprise visit. Sounds promising. Clearly, Barrett doesn't want her client Jordan Cross to know about Morgan's presence, so whatever business the two have, they're likely to do it in secret. I suggest you intercept that message, 47. Could be a chance to catch Morgan off guard. Deliver his letter. <sighs> I will. In... A minute. Please don't. Oh!
Hey, nice threads, buddy. Excuse me, I found this on the stairs. Hmm, Queen Suite. Um, thank you so much, sir. I'll make sure the letter finds its rightful owner. Hey, how are you? Ken Morgan. Any messages for me? Let me check. Yes, Mr. Morgan. A letter was only just delivered. Here you are, sir. Oh, finally. Basement linen room. Call me when you get there. Dexy Barrett. Well done, 47. Morgan is on the move, and we Let's know go. exactly where he is Dexie headed. Barrett finally gave word. We're meeting at the linen room. The linen room. Sexy. Mm. Welcome to the exciting world of corporate underhand dealings. Hey. Uh, no, sir. I can't let you through here. We've got heightened security. New orders. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not that's fine. That's fine. Just, just don't... Good day to you, sir. According to the hotel manager's memo, drunken members of Jordan Cross's sound crew broke into the Queen Suite last night and trashed the place. Housekeeping is fast at work, which is why Ken Morgan and his bodyguard are not yet settled in. Sounds promising. According to the manager, a member of staff is supposed to escort Morgan to his suite once the cleaning staff is done. That someone could be you, 47. I know how you love to grovel. Uh, it's like impossible to dock, so you have to get here by plane. And they say he's got more surveillance than like the freaking Vatican and a security cord to match. But why? I don't know, I guess because he can. And he never leaves. I mean, pull that fire from the lab. But anyway, it's his son is the one I can find ever a sweet mildly annoying recording artist. The singer from the class is Thomas Cross's son. and better. Hmm? 
It's not like anyone else. It's, you see it or hear it, you know you have to do something about it. You know you are the only one who can really help. That's what's right. <laughs> <laughs> Straighten up, don't slouch. I need more towels. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen Suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was relatively fast. Very well. Lead the way. Here we are. I trust everything is to your liking. Hmm. A definite improvement. Hardly the Bourge à l'Arabe. Let's take a closer look. See there? A smear. As expected. But take care of it, please. So sloppy. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
sure, for sure. The tech industry is a pretty wild place, let me tell you. Oh, I could do with a cup of tea.